Hello Scorpio and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So we've got four cards, but they come out for a reason. Let's go with it. Compassion. Closure. Friendship. travel. Let's see what we have for you as an Archangel Michael card. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides message for Scorpio for the week to come. Message for Scorpio. Thank you. Wow, that's lovely. We've got number 42. Your prayers are being answered. Your prayers are being received by the divine. Answers will come soon, although perhaps in forms you didn't expect. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we have for you for the week. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Scorpio for the week. Message for Scorpio for the week. So we have judgment. Nine of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords. We've got the Six of Swords. The Knight of Cups. And we have an Emperor. I think that there's been some kind of ending here. The Ten of Swords can be an ending. We can feel stabbed in the back, betrayed, deeply wounded, deeply hurt. We can, it can be to do with loss, endings, or how something ended. Um, but there's an opportunity here to kind of... I feel that you're one step away from kind of finishing something to deal with how something ended or an ending of some kind. Because... Oh, one moment. Oh, damn. One second, Scorpio. Sorry, the wax has gone everywhere, so I'll just leave it for now. Um, but I think that there's some kind of ending here. The Six of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, it feels like you're heading um, heading in the right direction to get what you deserve. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles, it feels like money is involved. Uh, the Six of Swords, it just feels like it's been some kind of process. I think that you're nearly at the end of this now. There's a feeling of the worst is behind you and you're gonna, you're, you've moved beyond you know difficult times. I think it's almost kind of like you're feeling more that you're really getting somewhere and it's to do with, I mean, I feel it's to do with money areas. Nine of Pentacles can be uh, getting what you deserve, uh, a sum of money. Uh, it's what you're putting time and energy into and persevering on a path for is to get what you deserve now and it's to do with some kind of ending or why something ended. Uh, it's the same message. So whichever life area this applies to, um, because Emperor and Judgment can be, I mean, it can be an official thing, it could well be, 
also some kind of final decision making from a key person in authority, whether it's head of a company, whether it's a person in authority, a judge even, an arbiter, whatever that scenario is, it looks like there is some kind of judgment coming in that is bringing closure to a situation. I think this emperor is likely on your side. I mean, there's just this feeling of, of uh, when these energies appear in your reading, it's very karmic. And this travel energy, I feel that, that uh, the journey is, is kind of taking a turn for the better. Because again, the Knight of Cups can be an offer of some kind. Um, with a page of pentacles, it, it feels to do with something practical. Uh, money, business, career, job, uh, sum of money. I mean, it feels like this is good news to do with some kind of offer. So let's pull a card for judgment and see what we get. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Scorpio for the week to come. Message for Scorpio for the week to come. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Let's pull a card for judgment. Yeah, Three of Cups, is uh, it can be a reason to celebrate. The Emperor, again. Uh, this decision, I think this Emperor is deciding something and it's bringing in some kind of celebration. It's a key person of influence, a, a final decision maker. I think it's bringing closure to a situation. You know, the Three of Cups can be linked with friendship or people who we consider as soul connections and friendships, family, friends. It's where there's reasons to celebrate, the people who support us through the good times and the bad. Through this kind of experience, we find out who our friends are as well. There's a reason to celebrate even through a party because it looks like there's some kind of decision from an emperor coming in. There's good news. Let's pull a card for this Knight of Cups. I mean, it just feels like some kind of offer is what I'm getting here. This is the answered prayers. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. Yeah, the Nine of Wands. King of Wands. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, or the energy of the card. And yeah, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I think this person, it's been, it's taken a lot of effort and time to get here uh, and you've battled on and this feels that kind of energy here where there's some kind of offer that I feel is like completing something for you that brings in some kind of good news, uh, but it's taken a lot of effort and work to get here. Slightly this King of Wands is, is involved in this in some way. Uh, action orientated, go getting driven, confident, charismatic. Let's pull a card for this Emperor here, thank you. The Page of Pentacles is good news to do with something like practical money, career, property, you know, financial areas. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. So someone, someone hasn't been wanting to give you something. I think you've battled on to get more, to get an increase, to get more money because somebody hasn't wanted to give you something uh, or give you everything that you wanted. And there is that feeling that you're finally feeling that you're turning a corner this week and getting there. But I think this, this is the emperor making some kind of decision on somebody who is, is hoarding or holding on or being greedy or or not, not being open to compromise or negotiate in any way. Uh, it's, it feels like money areas. Um, and this is the energy here that I'm seeing here, Scorpio. I think this, deci this, this is somebody who is deciding what's fair and right. You know, <laughs> I've got judgment again. There's a judgment coming in. It's an incoming judgment. 
I think that you feel that you're turning a corner this week, but it just feels very, very powerful. Um, this is a, a decision that brings resolution and it's coming in and it's going to complete this. You know, that's the energy here. It's just going to complete this. Um, and that's what I'm seeing here. You you just wanted to keep on keeping on until you got what you deserved. And I think that you feel that's within your grasp and you're heading in the right direction this week. Uh, there's some kind of news or communication, and I feel it's to do with an offer as well coming in, that makes you feel, okay, you know, I feel like I'm getting somewhere now. I feel like I'm getting to where I want to be. It has taken a lot of effort and time. But, you know, the Three of Cups, the Judgment card and the Emperor, is, is it feels like somebody making a decision and there's reasons to celebrate. I mean, that's the energy here. All right. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. It's a journey, yes. We have, it's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure when you're ready, when the time comes, pack your passport now. Oh, bottom of the deck, we have abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have in fairyland and human land. There's enough abundance for everyone. This is a card of success with the nine of pentacles. You feel like you're heading to success, but it's, you're reaping the fruits of your labor. You're getting the money, the reward for the effort, for what you feel is right, you know, for what, where you want to be, what's fair, what's right, you know. Um, it just feels that kind of energy here, Scorpio. So, you know, this is the energy. It feels like there is, there's, you're deciding to put more energy and time into this and keep on persevering, but I think it's all going to be worth it. This is likely on the back of somebody who has not been willing to um, be open or negotiate, uh, not being willing to uh, move or you know, even be open to having a conversation about money. You know, whatever that scenario is. Uh, so you need to, sometimes we need to take things to official channels to get what we need. Sometimes this can be a judgment to do with a company as well. Um, it's not limited to a company. It could be any area of life. It could be a relationship thing where there's money involved. Um, it could well be to do with a, you know, an inheritance thing where money is involved. It could be an accident thing where money is involved. It's the same message, you know. It could be, you know, uh, legal, authority, you know, official or a person in authority or a leader. Whatever that scenario is, the same message applies. There's a judgment coming in, but it's very favorable for you and also karmic. And likely the, it's, it was all worth the effort, though, you know, it's tiring. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.